Hey y'all, uh, I just want to say that um, my friend just got into a wreck, so make sure y'all see y'all press to tie. Make sure y'all see y'all press to Tara to go, okay? Make sure y'all see y'all press to him because he just got into a wreck. I tried to call him. I tried to make sure he okay. I kept on calling. And I hope that Ty really, really called me because I've been trying to check up on him. My friend really got into a bad accident. And I need y'all help. Please. That's what it was telling me to file through his. Yeah, I just called the lawyer company. Sorry to be crying. I'm just, you know. Thank you. They tell me don't file a claim through mine if it's not my fault. Thank you, Jerry. I see it. My car is totaled. Cause I had to make sure I come in. I have State Farm. Yes, I do have the police report. But it's not gonna be. The, I, I, you don't need a police report. I know what well, my company, my person that I have. Listen, is, yes, ma'am. Baby, I'm glad to hear you. Okay. Thank listen, you. Listen, time. If it's any insurance involving your your vehicle, your automobile accident, you do not have to wait for a police report. If you have insurance, did did they appoint you an um a uh an adjuster, or did you not contact your insurance? I didn't contact. I was contacting my insurance this morning because it happened like three thirty in the morning. Okay, so don't was... listen to these comments. You contact your insurance. That's what you pay your insurance for to be insured. It is up to your insurance company to get their money back from the other insurance company. That's no business of yours. When you call it, call your call your claim in. When you call your claim in, you tell them you work. Your car is a part of your job. Okay? Right. You don't, don't get, don't, don't back up, don't pull down. You tell them you need a car, you need it today. You don't have a way to get the car. You like for them to send a car out to pick you up or either to have a car dropped off to you. That is what you pay for. Okay. And it's just that simple. Do not give up. So when yes, you call, ma'am. you take over your conversation, which I know you can. When you call, you say, hi, this is Tommy. I was involved in an accident yesterday. My to- my car, who said your car is totaled? Did the insurance company total your car out? The police said it when the tow truck came. Okay, so it's not totaled out. The adjuster because They, one, they were saying the airbags haven't deployed either, so... Yeah. Yeah. So the adjuster has to be the person to total the car out. However, when you make that phone call, you demand that you need a car and you need it today. Do not back down on them because it is entitled. it is entitled to you. Okay. Right. Do you you do have um do you do have car rental on your your um policy? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, side when you call Yes, them, I have legit insurance. Y'all have State Farm. Listen, when you call them, Ty, you tell them, I work and my car is a part of my job. Uh, well, um, uh, it, it, well, he doesn't we, have to tell him the car is a part of his job, but he does have to tell him that he has to get back and forth to work. Listen, not that it's a part of his listen, job. Listen, Ty, Ty, huh? when you call... You tell them 
that your car, your vehicle was a part of your job. I don't care if you work at McDonald's. <laughs> if your car gets you back and forth to work, young lady, it Ma is Ma'am, that's, not a, that's not a part of your job, sweetie. Yes, that's, it that's is. Not. So a part of his job would be uh, using his using his his uh, car for work. That would be like being an Uber or a delivery uh, job. I don't know what I don't know where she lives or or if I she would, used public transportation or no, whatever. No, honey, I own my car. But the, I own two cars. Okay, actually, sweetie. Thank you, I didn't get up here for you. <laughs> okay, honey. I didn't get up here for you, and I didn't get up here for you either. But you're giving him some false information, so. So you know what, Ty? You go right ahead with uh, um. Little Miss Thing right here, she'll lead you the rest of the way, sweetie. You have a good night. <laughs> that was unnecessary. But Ty, the first part of what she was saying was absolutely correct. You do have to, regardless whether it's your fault or not, you still have to make your insurance company aware of what happened. Now, in reference to your rental, in reference to you getting a rental, that would actually go through your insurance. But what's going to happen is you don't have to pay any out-of-pocket costs. The other insurance company is going to take care of that. But in reference to getting your car fixed, the insurance will then deal with the other insurance company. But it has to be filed on both with both insurance companies, period. Right. So she was right about that part. But you don't have to tell them that that's a part of your job. That would be lying. Like, you don't use yeah, your car for work. So don't do that. Like, be honest about it. But what you do need to do, honestly, Ty, Go to the hospital. Get yourself checked right. out. I know you stated that you were not hurting right now, and that's fine, but just go. Like, it does sound like you're having a little bit of anxiety, which is understandable. You did get into an accident last night, so just go. Get yourself checked out. What if you wake up tomorrow, your back is hurting? There you have, you know, some paperwork, a paper trail. But all this other right. stuff these weird people are talking about, don't worry about that. Just focus on getting yourself together and making sure that everything everything's okay. And I heard you say that your insurance company isn't open, but on the back of your card, there should be a 1-800 number that you should, you should be able to call. You might not be able to, yeah. You might not be able to talk to your person specifically, but you can, um, you know, talk to somebody. Right. I do have all of that. Yeah, I do have Gap. I have the rental. I agree. And I, I have full-time um, full coverage. Not like oh, well, hold on. Somebody said, if, if somebody in the comments said, Huh. Ty. Yes, ma'am. The first thing you need to do is like, like seriously, like the young lady say, go to the hospital, get your paper yes, trail, get your paperwork. Um, really, the highway patrol is like a catch twenty two with them saying your car is total. Everybody know you have to wait for a gesture to come out to decide that. Right. If your car yeah, to see if your car is total. So. That's going to have to wait until Monday. So your car mm -hmm. is going to be sitting in the pound or wherever they told it to. Um, hopefully you don't get stuck with the bill that is sitting in the storage. Mm -hmm. But that's all up to your insurance company. State Farm is really well. I own my own business, as you know. And, you know, my husband drives trucks and we have to have a million dollar policy and all that good stuff. Whenever you get in an accident, the first thing is you go into the hospital, you deal with the insurance on the back end. You mm -hmm. got to make sure that you're okay first. You right. know what I'm saying? That's right. And just like she said, they will get you a rental and everything. You know, um, you can't work right now because you don't know what type of in in yeah. injuries you have. You can have what they're called, um, oh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Like, uh, you can have a type of injury that nobody can detect but you because you feel it mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it could be something that's lying dormant that you only you feel it that you need pain medication and everything for so right. don't rush yourself to get back to your job rush yourself to get yourself better and to file your claim and get your money yeah, yes, and Todd, you're still in shock at this point. Like, this all just I happened, am. though. I am. Definitely go get yourself checked out and then, you know, deal with everything else later. But you're, you is you are what comes first. So we definitely want to exactly. make sure you're okay. Exactly. Okay. You can drop me, Todd. All right, yeah, drop me, too. Okay. Love you, Ty. I hope everything is good. Love you, too. Thank y'all so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, I just need, can y'all just help me $30? I'm finna go. I just I don't have my cards. My cards are left in the car. I just have to go stop by the car when I leave the hospital to get some more belongings out. But I don't have nothing. I just got my ID. And I'm going to get off. And I'm on the way to the hospital. I'm going to call my insurance.
I'm gonna call my insurance. Hey, how are you? Is he has rental coverage? Yeah, I do have rental coverage. So I will have to, I need to call. Let me go ahead and go.